Thanks for joining me. I'm your coach, Brian Jacobs, here at the Golf Channel Academy at Brian Jacobs Golf in beautiful Rochester, New York, at beautiful Ridgemont Country Club. Today we're talking about ground contact and face-to-the-ground contact and how important that is. When students come often, their face angles are varied. They're all over the place. Uh, we might see ball flights that look like this. Way to the right. Or we may see a ball flight that's more to the left. But the one common denominator we've been getting a lot lately at the academy and I wanted to address was the ground contact. If you notice the shots that I hit, because the face of the club was coming in a little bit more open or a little bit higher on the golf ball, we were missing the ground. So I have a great drill to help students get the club face square or for you to get the club face square and it requires you to have a couple of tees. So what we want to do is, is tee up one ball just like we normally do when we practice. And then in addition to that, we want to have a couple more tees and we'll set these on the ground. We actually want to put one tee at the toe of the club. We'll set one tee at the heel of the club. And then we'll set one tee out in front of the ball. Now the goal is, is kind of threefold. We want to get through the gate here that we've made with the golf club. We want to strike the golf ball, but we also want to take this tee out of the ground. Uh, most people that come, they don't take divots again. And, or if they do take a divot, it's way early. It's way behind the golf ball. So they're, they're closing the face angle a little bit too much. So what I like to have the students do is, is I'd like to see you rehearse a little bit, trying to get that face angle to come in. If you notice my hand position, if the club head and my hands were in a race, my hands will always win the race. So when your hands don't win the race, this is the club position that you're gonna get and the hand position that you're gonna get. So you're adding loft and you're adding spin to the golf ball. So those of you that are super short hitters, let's take a look at your ball flight and see how high it is and also see how much it moves if you're a right-hander, moves to the right. So let's see if we can hit one, getting the club through the gate and taking the tee out of the ground in the front so that we can get a proper divot. Great shot. As you can see, I got a proper divot. I didn't take the tee out in front, but the whole goal of the game or this drill is to get you to start to move the club downward instead of upward. So we want to take a divot in front of the golf ball. The face of the club was square through the tee, so I know that the face wasn't open or, or closed or too open or too closed. So I call that a success. I know you can get the same amount of success if you use this drill. If you need any help with your golf game, with impact, with the mental game, with course management, come and see me at the academy or visit me at brianjacobsgolf.com. I'll see you soon.